Welcome to my second video on the property cycle. If you have not seen the first video, you may wish to review it as this video is a continuation from the first. In the first video, I said understanding the property cycle might be the single most important concept you should know as a property investor as you can make sense of what is happening in the market at a macro level and less prone to react to headlines in the media. Amateur investors without this knowledge react to what they hear in the media but as a professional you don't. I also explain why there is a property cycle because it is fundamental demand and supply economics with the supply relatively fixed so the price would continue to rise in the long term. I've got a graph of the property cycle on the y-axis is the prices and the price is going up this way and on the x-axis is the time now that the, the the price amount is not important and the time um, could be in number of years um, is not important it's the shape of the graph that is going to be important and I will go in detail in the recovery phase, prices have bottomed out at the end of the recession. Prices have fallen far enough to tempt the smart investors back into the market, attracted by the relatively high yields. You've got to remember the property prices have dropped, but the rent is relatively the same. Bank lending is hard to get because of the low confidence in the market and amateur investors are non-existent because of, all, because of all the doom and gloom in the economy. So this raises for a while and then we come to a mid-cycle dip. This is where some of the early movers take their profits and you'll see a slump in prices. The explosive phase, it is now clear that the property prices are going up gradually. Banks are starting to lend again. House prices begin to rise faster than wages. The media drive up prices with the hype, with headlines like house prices increasing £200 a day or whatever. Prices are further fueled by people speculating the market will continue to go up and refinance to take money to spend on holidays and stuff. And also people wanting to buy a bigger home because they can't afford it as prices go up. The banks are freely lending again. Fundamentals go out the window and group psychology kicks in. In the last few years of the explosive phase is where the prices reach their peak. How can you see the signs? To rationalise the extreme high prices, people will be saying that things are different this time round and the fundamentals are still good, so the prices will continue to rise. At this point, as soon as something affects the confidence in the market, the confidence just evaporates because the market has been driven by sentiment rather than fundamentals. Prices plummet, people who are over leveraged go bankrupt, properties are repossessed, triggering waves of forced selling. The tipping point is hard to predict. The recession phase seems to last forever. Nothing sells news like bad news. The smart money will start buying again when the fundamentals are right again and the whole 
cycle starts again. In my next video, I will try to interpret what stage the Hong Kong and UK property market are at the start of 2019. I hope you've enjoyed this video. You have been terrific. I have been John. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel.